was to cover inside because the, that museum I had of us too short. This is too high to go in. That's why the special build this pavilion to keep, to keep them inside. But this is six per, uh, stone tablets, not very old, uh, all about 200 years ago. Yeah, and the most of people, why they make a stone tablet? is to record something important. They want the people to know it forever. Because if you write on a book, it might be disappeared, it might be changed by someone. But if you're curving on a stone, it will last lasting forever, lasting forever. So that's why every time, for example, if a general conquered one area, as it's a part of the kingdom, and now they took over here, they will put stone tablets over there. To curve it, who did what year? Okay, from Texas, we See that girl over there? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> But because uh, when people discovered those the old stone tablets, they have nowhere to put. Yeah. They think that this is something with, uh, related with culture things. That's why they just live here. So as time went by, more and more stone tablets moved to here. So finally, it's no more a Confucius temple. It become a real museum, just like those stone tablets. It's a book. This book is written by the disciple of Confucius. And this book is talk about the family relationship. It's talk about parents and children. So also talk about the family. So how the parents should take care of the children and how the children should take care of the parents as a harmonious family. Also, they talk about uh, all the people your hair, your flesh is all come from your parents. So do not damage yourself so easily because if you damage yourself, you are damage your parents as well. So that's why take care of yourself and, and care for yourself. Body is also to show uh, to show your fellow parity to your parents, something like this. So it's talk about a family uh, relationship a book, and also in ancient China. Because all the dynasty are ruling by families, so they very pay attention to blood relationship. So the, the father, the mother, the parents, and also the children, they very pay attention to this. Also the emperor, why he writes this stone tablets? He want to tell the Chinese people, I'm like your parents. I want to, I will govern China by this way. I will take care of you. But as a citizen return, you should take care of me like my children, like this book talk about. That's why he writes this special book on this stone so it's a big character, uh, what he copied from the book. The small one are the notes he made, his own understanding, his own thinking. He made the notes over there. So all together, it's a big book. Yeah, so it's a book of a female parent, the kernel of a female parent, written by the disciple of the uh, Confucius. This is also one of the textbook for Asian students. Everybody have to study this book. Because in China, they think as a good man, you should take care of your parents. And that's the, the first 
uh, basic principle as a good gentleman. Good gentlemen always love the parents, and love the family, love the people like this. So that's so they choose a, uh, someone to be an officer. It doesn't matter how knowledgeable you are. Maybe you are not that knowledgeable, but if you're a good man, you love the family, you love the people, then you will be a good officer. So that's one of the basic principles. So that's why they want everybody to study this book and follow this way to guarding the China. So in China, sometimes they think the talent is not important. Your personality is more important than your talent, your knowledge. So your, your sort of personality, if you love the people, you're kind.